Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing. I am recording one-handed on my cell phone, so sorry for the shaky camera, but my other um, setup has not come in yet and Dave is watching a movie, so. Anyway, um, this is my swap um, that I participated in um, with Brittany over at BB's Crafty Peeps on her Facebook page. And this is how mine come packaged. Super cute, right? Look at my back topper, isn't that so cute? Made my own. I got a new cameo portrait and I decided to use it a lot. So that's how they come packaged. This is just a little swap thing, a little note to Brittany. They're all the same except for I made little notebook um, things as gifts. And one is pink and the other two are blue and Brittany's favorite color is pink. So I just put her name on that one. That's all it says. Um, inside, I went ahead and opened everything, but here's the little box. It's a roll-up box. Both sides look like this with a little Velcro, as you can see. Um, this is the roll-up box we had to use. Super cute, and I just made a smaller version of my bag topper here. Now, the paper collection I used was Baking Spirits Bright, but, um, I didn't really use a lot of it. I decided to use my portrait for everything, so... There you go. So the box just kind of rolls up like this and then you undo the velcro. All right, so we had to do embellishments. We had to do five embellishments, which I did um, more than five, only because um, I was gonna use some of them as packaging. I, I cut them all out as, you know, I was thinking about the project, but then I ended up having to do different packaging. So um, here are two little Layered gingerbread. These are Starbucks bags. I didn't have any craft, and so I had to use my Starbucks bags. Isn't that hilarious? Here is a completed die cut with 3D Galaxy Gel. He was gonna be bag toppers, but he ended up not being bag topper. And then my little rolling pin here was gonna be a bag topper too, but they, I made them just <laughs> too big, and so it doesn't fit in the box. So now they're just extras, because here's some other little rolling pins I did, again with the Starbucks paper bag for the craft. And then I did these little stockings, um, one with 3D Galaxy Gel, I was having a great time with that, and one without. So this paper collection is heavy with the pinks and the red. I don't know if you can really tell the colors. Um, obviously I'm on my bed, so. And then I just packaged it in a, you know, just a clear bag with a music note embossing folder on white paper. Here are my embellishments. I did two poinsettias and then I was like, you know what, let me just do one more. I did this super cute coffee for Santa and I did the little movement lines and stuff like that. So just a little coffee and a little gingerbread for Santa. I thought it was super cute. Just a little extra embellishment. And then here is my shape tag in here. I just decorated the box with another one of those finished, um, which palms, gingerbreads. I forgot to open this, sorry about the crinkling. I cannot pause or stop this video. Okay, so I made my own little box, of course. Here is my tag. It is so cute. Baking Spirits Bright. I cut out Fussy Cut, guys. The little gingerbread from the paper collection and the little gingerbread tree and heart. Here's my hanging element. On the back, I did a little two from with another little cookie. Now, I had to use my thread or whatever you call this stuff. My nemesis. <laughs> As a hanging element because apparently this country doesn't do anything with a ribbon I could not find ribbon anywhere I couldn't even find like a cheap scarf that I could tear up or you know like a cloth napkin or something I couldn't find anything so I had to use what I brought with me which is this you know the sparkly thread stuff so but I love my little KitchenAid I did a pink and red to match the paper collection so you could have a pastel Christmas or traditional Christmas, when, you know, whatever my partners are using it for. And then last but not least, here's my little sticky note holder. 
It's a simple sticky note holder. I'm not going to open it. Um, each one is just slightly different with a little card from the paper collection. There was um, two by two cards, and so that's what I used as a closure. And then, like I said, these sticky notes are blue, and then the other one is pink. So, And I just backed a sticker from the paper collection onto cardstock. So, that is my swap. I hope you guys enjoy it. Thanks for watching. Bye.